60 caps for Brazil, 22 goals, a star of the 1982 and 1986 World Cup finals. So how on earth did Socrates end up playing for Garforth Town in the English Northern Counties League? You could do worse than ask this man. Simon Clifford is a manager of Garforth Town. His footballing story began eight years ago with a Brazilian football school in Leeds. We began with just four children and we used a game called Football de Salon that Socrates uh, has used himself and most of the Brazilian players did. And um, the group grew and we, we got some attention because we were training a little bit differently and some professional clubs invited me to give demonstrations. So we decided to try and expand our schools to the whole of Britain and they've grown from there to around the world. That's what we're doing and so Socrates is coming mainly as an ambassador to help me uh, publicise my work and to talk about what I'm hoping to do in the future. Trained as a doctor of medicine, Socrates is that rarity in the football world, an educated man. In the 1980s, at the peak of his career, he used his fame to criticise his country's military government. Playing for Sao Paulo's Corinthians, Socrates campaigned for democracy off the pitch while winning trophies on it. Now, 14 years after his last competitive game, Socrates was playing for nothing but expenses at Garforth Town. The locals had never seen anything like it. The world's media were camped out. A record 3,000 people turned up to witness the arrival of a football legend. This was history in the making. Well, I'm here because I was invited by Simon to see his children's project, which I find very interesting. He's using sport, particularly football, to help the children to socialize, to develop their physical condition. Everybody in the area is being lifted by his presence, and I think the whole country of uh, the whole United Kingdom has been interested. Uh, one of my friends from a national newspaper said the media scrum on Saturday when he played, he said he'd been to some big things, but he'd never seen anything like that. Socrates did his best to look comfortable, and as promised, when kickoff time arrived, Alti jogged to face Tadcaster United. He was clearly feeling the bitter cold. Would you remember how to play? At 50 years old, he decided it was probably best to start the game on the bench. That looked a good decision as the first half witnessed a classic English blood and thunder encounter. Garforth took the lead in truly Brazilian style. The locals were loving it. I've tried for two or three years since being here to, re to, to awaken their interest in the club. Um, we've had Brian Robson here, the former England captain, uh, Jarzinho, Paulo Cesar, Jermaine Genes, various others, but there's been nothing like this. In the second half, the coach decided it was time to use his not-so-secret weapon. Enter the captain of the best side never to have won the World Cup. It wasn't quite Brazil 82, but all the old touches were there. 2-2 the final score. But the result wasn't the most important thing. Simon Clifford's Brazilian soccer program was perhaps the real winner. Socrates had impressed everyone. A qualified doctor with knowledge in nutrition, physiotherapy and orthopedics, he's hardly your average footballer. He was a doctor, he was intelligent, and most footballers aren't. <laughs> Joking. Socrates was arguably the biggest name of one of the best Brazil teams ever. He feels today's Brazil are boring by comparison. The Brazilian team are champions of the world, but the Brazilian game today is not as good as we'd like to see, and not as good as what I believe it could be. We still have great players, but we're much more conservative than we used to be. Socrates' own managerial ambitions, meanwhile, may never be fulfilled. In a society which does not value people who are qualified through their own merit, it makes it much more difficult for them to grow. In my own experience, these difficulties happen more because of politics. I've always criticized the structure of Brazilian sport. For the last 30 years, I've always been active in all the movements to improve these things. So some people there really don't like me a lot. Socrates playing in England at 50. Who says dreams don't come true?